Good day. Killogic here from the internet. I want to talk about something called Ikigai. Ikigai is a, another word for passion. What is your drive, the thing in life that you love to do, that makes you you. And I have found that amongst the generational gaps and all that, that nowadays there are, seems to be a, a lot of people who seem to have lost their way and lost their ikigai. You know, when you're, when you're younger, you know, you, most people have a, have a thing that they like to do, a passion, a hobby. Whether it be music, building things, making stuff, whatnot. But then life happens. And stuff and things get in the way and, and start to change your perspective. And you find that. After you've traversed all the stuff and the things and you've finally gotten maybe to a place in your life um, where you're comfortable, you've also found that you kind of don't know what you want to do. You've kind of lost your passion for things. Some things that you used to think about all the time or do on a daily basis just they don't seem to, to do it for you anymore. And I think the technology that we use has a, has a great deal to do with that. We get to live vicariously through other people's lives, other things. And with all this stuff, we, we kind of get bombarded with all these other people's lives and other people's passions and other people's things. And it's like, I want to do that. I want to be able to be the one that does these things. And, well, most times you can. And the only thing that stops you is you. I know these days it's it's really hard for some generations to to really find their way. I know uh, growing up in the '80s um, and you know the '90s and stuff like that, um, you know, stuff had basically it was only slightly more improved than it was generations before that. But then. The 2000s came and all of a sudden it was like flicking a switch and stuff that, you know, was the everyday is now, wait a minute, say hey Striper, <laughs> say hey, <laughs> now things are just moving so fast and so just technologically advanced that some of the people in our generation seem to have gotten left behind. So, that being said, just know so I'm not the only one that has seemed to have forgotten what they want to be when they grow up. This is very common. And especially for some generations. And if you think about it, there are, I, I know personally, people from my generation that went to school for things. And, you know, to, to learn a trade. And now, you know, they... <laughs> they did all that schooling 
and you know started putting in time and now it seems you know only 10 years later their job is pointless and being replaced by machines or other technology and uh that can be really detrimental not only to you know somebody's economical standpoint but their psyche and it totally changes your world you you thought you knew what you wanted to be when you grew up and you know now that's all been kind of taken away so there is a there's a duality to to all these things obviously with good there is always bad that arises but we already at a time that people will look back and see that this this was a marker that the the 2000s changed society and they changed the way that people thought about things but never never give up looking and trying to find your passion and trust me you can use this technology and these social means to your advantage cuz there are groups of people that feel this very same way and that uh sometimes getting with like-minded people can help you find your way again and find your ikka guy So good luck out there go be somebody be the best you you can be and if you can't be good just be good at it Peace.